think about this. How many times a week do you make that short walk to your mailbox to pick up your mail? Something pretty routine, right? Well, for one day, that trip to the mailbox is going to turn into a way for all of us to make a huge impact in our community. Lou Madran with Community Food Bank, Joe Barrios with TEP, and Amber Roberts with the National Association of Letter Carriers are all here to remind us that the Stamp Out Hunger Food Drive is here once again. I felt like we were just sitting here uh, a year ago, but we're here doing it again. This thing keeps getting bigger and better, Lou, I feel like every year. How important is this really? This is a really great food drive because it comes at a critical time of us for us. Uh, it's leading right into summer. And so the donations have you know fallen off since the beginning of the year as they do every year right after the holiday season. But going into the summer months, we've really kind of hit a low point. And then we have a spike in terms of people that need assistance because the kids are now home. Yep. So the kids are at home, mom, has, mom and dad have to make lunches and probably some extra meals in there. So we always see that little spike. So this really gets us to around September. And the, the more we have, the longer it lasts to get us closer to the holiday season. So it's a vitally important, it's just, it is the biggest food drive of the year, but it comes at just the right time. This is exactly why we make it so easy. This is why we're making this donation process so easy. And we're gonna get to the process of it, but what do you need? What are the food items? Uh, just the, the regular donation items that we always ask for, not non-perishable food items, because you're gonna be putting them out by the mailbox and it's probably gonna be a hot Saturday, yeah. probably about 97 degrees. So, you know, canned goods, canned, uh, canned meats, canned vegetables, canned fruits. Uh, you can put cereals out there, even peanut butter, um, you know, beans, rice, pastas, uh, mac and cheese, those kind of things. Those things will stay really well out there for us. And those are the, really the vital things that we need. And I want everyone to remi remember when they're looking in their pantry or they're going to the store, remember those kids. Remember those kids that are now needing those extra meals over the summertime. And we have a lot of people that come together to make this happen. How, how does this all work? What has to happen in order for this food drive to be successful? Well, we rely on our community partners and we've got TEP that have sponsored the bags, which will be delivered on Thursday. And then reminder cards will go in the mailbox on Friday. And uh, the food bank is terrific with the logistics of sorting the food and, and it's just a tremendous effort that everybody pitches in. So we're really excited to you know, be a part of it. So really, Amber, we're making this easy. We're gonna drop off a bag for you to fill. We're right. gonna give you a <laughs> reminder card that it's happening. And then on Saturday, we literally take our donation and sit it out by our mailbox and you guys come and get it. We will do it. Look, we can't make it any easier. This is just wonderful. And like you said, we have wonderful people that kind of step in. Tell me how TEP is doing that. Sure, so in addition to the sponsorship, we have uh, employees that uh, love to donate their time to worthwhile causes. They are gonna be driving around in company vehicles to help pick up the food that are left at uh, mailboxes. It's our 125th anniversary, and so we thought it would be a great way to celebrate by supporting um, this, this project, which we've done in the past. Well, Joe, I can't agree with you more. This is a great project that you guys are getting involved in. And I did say this is, you know, we're doing this again, once again. How many years have we been doing this? This is the 25th anniversary. Yeah, so. It's a, and I do say it does get bigger and better every year. I feel like the word spreads more. I feel like more people kind of make it almost like an annual routine now uh, to do this. They're looking for the bag. They're looking for the reminder. Uh, and we need that because we have a big hefty goal this year, right? Both by food and monetary. Sure. This year we're uh, trying to get to 300,000 pounds because that's, you know, that's really about 150 tons of food. Yeah. But that gets us to September really well. Uh, and then we have a monetary goal, which is about $100,000. And you can do that. We've been sending out envelopes for the past few weeks, reminding folks to donate online. You can, or you can donate online to the Community Food Bank. And we also realize this drive goes on a couple weeks after the Saturday, because we have other post offices out in the rural areas yeah. reporting. So you can continue to donate after Saturday if you feel compelled to do that. We'd, we'd really appreciate it. The numbers keep coming in for about a month, and we'll finally have a total. I think we'll hit it. I think that's amazing. And I, I want to remind everybody about those monetary donations. How do you guys take that and, and turn it into the food? Because I know you guys do wonderful things with that. Well, sure. For every dollar donated, we can distribute four meals. So we can really turn that dollar around. Doesn't have to be more. You can do a dollar. You can do two dollars, five dollars, twenty dollars, whatever you donate. Because we're really, you know, we, we buy in such bulk when we have to buy food that we can get a really good price on that. And so we're able to really use, utilize the monetary donations really well. I'm telling everyone, we literally can't make this easier. You can go online, just click, click, click. You make your monetary donation. You can, of course, put the food out there. You can come to the, the community food bank. There's a million ways to help. Just make sure that you do the helping portion of it. You guys, thank you so much. And thank you to TEP for stepping in as well. Of course. Yep.
All right, you guys, let's go through all that information one more time. The National Association of Letter Carriers Stamp Out Hunger Food Drive is this Saturday from 6 a.m. to 10 p.m. For more information, call 622-0525 or visit communityfoodbank.org.